psychosomatic means mind and body related. The term merges the two Greek words psyche, or mind, and soma, or body. A psychosomatic disorder, then, involves both mind and body. It is said that the foundation for psychosomatic movement was laid 2,500 years ago in ancient Greece. Back then, physicians who contributed to the Hippocratic Corpus, a collection of around 60 early ancient Greek medical works, described psychosomatic disorders in terms similar to those used by modern medicine. A psychosomatic disorder is caused, or worsened, by mental factors. For example, people with severe depression often stop taking care of their physical needs, like eating, sleeping, and personal hygiene, and become physically ill as a result. The term is also used when mental factors cause physical symptoms, but where there is no detectable physical illness. For example, chest pain may be caused by stress, even when no physical disease can be found. There is a deep connection between beliefs, thoughts, and emotions, and physical problems in the body. As a result, there are hundreds of illnesses that are purely psychosomatic or have a psychosomatic component. Despite the prevalence of these disorders, the medical community has been slow to embrace the importance of the mind-body connection. Long before philosopher René Descartes claimed that the mind and body were separate entities, a philosophical dichotomy in Western medicine between mind and body existed. Until recently, Western medical practices have tended to treat mind and body separately. However, in the last few decades, an emphasis on the mind-body connection has developed. Doctors today often recognize that emotional factors play a role in physical symptoms experienced by patients, and that these may be related to interdependent factors, including biological, psychological, and environmental factors. Psychosomatic medicine borrows from Eastern traditions that view body, mind, and spirit as inseparable by utilizing activities such as meditation, yoga, breathing, and visualization techniques to elicit awareness and relaxation responses. It has provided a comprehensive framework of reference for several current issues of clinical medicine, including the current dialogue with mind-body medicine, which shares the same holistic approach, incorporating biological, psychological, and social factors. However, unlike psychosomatic medicine, which has always been marginal to the lay public, mind-body medicine has been greatly effective in popularizing key psychosomatic concepts that embrace care and education for physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health.